You program in an object-oriented language and probably have used composition and aggregation many times. But what was the difference again? In this video you see how composition and aggregation link objects and when to use one or the other. Look at this code. There is an empty class employee and here is class company. Class company creates an empty employees list and has a method to add employees to the list. Since the company class has instances of the employee class, there is clearly a link between the two classes. Here is the UML class diagram and the link between the classes is represented by an association connector. There are two cases of association, composition and aggregation. To know what case we are dealing with here, let me ask you a question. Look at the code again. What happens to the list of employees when a company object is destroyed? All the associated employees will be destroyed as well. That is because the list of employees is stored in a company object. We say that a company object owns the employees list object. An association like this is known as composition and is drawn with a closed diamond. A company is composed of various things including a list of employees. The diamond is at the side of the composed class. The composed class has ownership over the other objects. But there is an alternative to this. Let me show you when we need that. Here is third class reporting. It takes a list of employees as a dependency and has a print employees method. To create an instance of reporting, a list of employees is needed. Since that list is in the company class, reporting instances can only be created in the company class. But I don't want to associate the company class and reporting class. So I take the employees list out of the company. Instead, the company class initializer will also take a list of employees as a dependency. Now the employees list is created in the main program and passed to instances of the company class and reporting class. Notice that the employees list now exists independently of company and reporting objects. Destroying a company object or reporting object does not destroy the employees list. This kind of association is known as aggregation and is presented with an open diamond. So let me give you a quick tip how to recognize the type of association in code. There are two kinds of associations. Composition and aggregation. Objects that create other objects most likely have a composition association. And objects that get past their dependencies likely have an aggregation association. When I learned this stuff, I made the mistake of thinking that the difference between composition and aggregation had something to do with cardinality. You know, things like one-to-one -one relationships or one-to-many relationships. The examples in this tutorial used a one-to-many association. One company has many employees, but cardinality has no influence on the association type. Let me show you. Class office is added to the system. When an employee is instantiated, a room number and phone number need to be passed. The employee initializer then creates an office class instance with the information. So, what is the association type here? Employee owns office, so it's composition. But this has consequences. What if employees share an office? This would create duplicate office objects. The alternative would be to decouple employee from office like this. The first step is to inject an office object as a dependency. An office object is created in the main program and passed when employee classes are instantiated. Offices now exist independently of employees. When employee objects are destroyed, the office still exists and offices can exist without employees occupying it. 
And as you have seen before, that is an aggregation association. And that's all for this video. If you want to learn more, click one of my other videos. Thanks for watching.